Kia ora. Today I've got a great quick tip video for you on how I paint Nurgle tentacles. So painting Nurgle is honestly my favourite thing in the world. You can do so many cool things with Nurgle miniatures. They're covered in all sorts of textures and weird things going on. There's like metal, there's skin, there's tentacles, eyeballs little bugs, there's, there's so much, and there's a lot of opportunities to do some really creative stuff. Um, in the latest kind of Death Guard models that you've probably all seen, there's a lot of tentacles and kind of things kind of growing out of armor and whatnot. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I go about painting those tentacles in a nice contrasting purple pink that kind of goes well with a typical green Death Guard armor. Uh, it's not too challenging, there's maybe eight paints that we're using, but it's all just kind of layering on top of each other, and some of them are for those pustules and boils, which we all love. Um, should be nice and quick, let's get into it. Okay, so here I've got my Death Guard uh, Terminator here from the Easy Build Kit. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is prime it black. Of course, because black is our favorite color to prime our niches in. Um, and then start by base coating all of these tentacle areas in purple. And so I'm going to be using this Phoenician purple color here. So base coat all of those tentacles in that purple, and that'll give us a good um, sort of foundation for all of the pinks and flesh tones that we're going to be putting over top. Okay, so I apparently picked the one that is more tentacles than Death Guard, and he has like a thousand tentacles on him, so that took a little bit longer than I thought, but I'll um, let that dry and we'll come back for the next step. Alright, so that purple is now dry, the next step is going to be starting the kind of striation effect that kind of makes it look like it's ribbed, um, you know, like a worm, kind of really gross looking, you know, those kind of rib effect that moves up the tentacle. So what we're going to be doing for that is getting out Screamer Pink and we're going to thin this down a little bit more than you normally would for a layer. So if we do a little thumb test here, you can see that it's not quite opaque but it's thin enough that it kind of runs off the brush quite nicely. What we're going to do is grab a little bit of that on our brush and then start working away from the top just adding in little lines wrapping around wrapping around the tentacle just thin little lines building building this up and we'll be doing this sort of a ribbed technique Ugh. Uh, all the way all the way around the tentacle kind of concentrating them a little bit more towards the top spreading out a little bit as we get towards the bottom of the base of the tentacle so do this across all of them let that dry and we'll come back for the next step. Alright, so we've done a first coat of that Screamer Pink on there and because we kept it a little bit, um, a little bit thin and transparent you can see it hasn't made a huge impression on the purple, it's just started to lift that shade up towards a bit more of a pink. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over it again with the screen of pink using the same kind of, um, the same consistency of paint, you know, a little bit thin, a little bit more than you normally would for a layer. We're just going to do it again, um, you know, kind of further, further emphasizing that color towards the top. So after a second coat of that Screamer Pink, we can start to see that transition of uh, kind of purple to pink up towards the tip of these tentacles with the nice kind of striation effect going on. It's not that noticeable on camera at the moment because the pink is quite similar to the purple, but we'll start to see it as we go through the next couple of colors. So I'm going to let that dry and come back with the next color. Okay, so our next color we're going to be using is Pink Horror. It's kind of next kind of step in that pink chain. Um, it's a little bit brighter than the Screamer Pink, so we should start to see those striation effects, those ribbed tentacle effects coming through now. So thin it down in the same way we thin down our Screamer Pink. Get a little bit on the tip of your brush, 
get it to a point if you need to. And then come in and using the same sort of technique, start adding in those rib effects and you start to see them coming through a little bit better now. See if you start at the top of the tentacle and work your way down, naturally the paint will start to run out and you'll get a bit of a, you know, a blend going as you kind of work your way down. So it starts off very heavy pink and as you come down, it starts to run out. So just continue this around all of these tentacles or whatever miniature you're doing. Okay, so you can see how adding that extra layer of pink to these tentacles has started to, oh, I missed one, has started to, um, you know, lift up this effect quite a bit. The uh, best way to lift it up even more is to just do it again. So because it's thin, I'm just going to repeat this process again, kind of emphasizing more towards the tips as we go with every step in this process, kind of build up that, um, build up that gradient towards the tip of these tentacles going to do this again really quick again just kind of focusing on this upper half of the tentacle now all right so there's our second coat of that pink coming in there now looking pretty good so we're going to let this dry and uh kind of come in with the next step all right, so the next step is going to be pushing up that pink another step with this Emperor's Children. So it's the same process of adding in these rib effects, emphasizing more towards the tip of these tentacles, kind of building up this effect as we go. You can see how it gets a little bit brighter with every step. Awesome. So that's that, uh, what's that, Emperor's Children pink layered up on there. So the next step is going to be kicking it up again, um, this time with a bit of a flesh color. So over here I've got some Kislev flesh. All right, Kislev flesh. And what we're going to do is just towards that kind of upper third of the tentacles now is just start layering this over top. And you can see how it really really kicks it up a notch and because it's got a little bit of yellow in it it just complements the pink and purple quite nicely and so I'm just kind of little, little stipple lines here to kind of look like it's got a bit of a, a gross shine to it so do this over all of these tentacles and come back when it's done So that's those tentacles all done with that flesh color. The next step I will come back to after this is dried. Okay, so the last thing that we want to do is add some very bright little tips to these tentacles because obviously contrast is king when it comes to miniature painting and so some bright white highlights is awesome. It's always awesome. Um, so we're going to be using this Pallid Witch flesh for a last little step on these tentacles I'm just taking a little bit on the tip of my brush and I'm just coming up to the very tips of these it'll come in focus and just a couple of little dots just to kind of make it look like it's got a bit of a kind of gross glossiness to it you know whenever you add like a, a white highlight like when you're doing non-metallic metal or something like that a white tip or something like that implies like a very reflective surface and so obviously if something's glossy or it has like a gross kind of sheen to it. Awesome. 
awesome. So now those are looking very kind of gross and nurgly, lots of lots of flesh kind of vibes going on. I'm into it. Um, last thing that we want to do though is there's, lot, there's lots of little boils and little kind of growths or little pox kind of going all over these tentacles and they'll be really good to kind of break up this um, break up this this pattern that we've kind of built up so the first thing we're going to do is let this dry and <laughs> then I'll come back for the next step all right so the color that we're going to use to pull out all of these is going to start with Avaland Sunset kind of a earthy-ish yellow so I'm gonna grab a small amount on the very tip of my brush thin it down just a little bit and see these these kind of boils and areas so it's gonna paint little yellow circles just to pull them out and there's lots of them so I'll come back when these are all done Cool, so we've added in these yellow uh, boils all over these tentacles. Um, you know, I've gone and added in a couple of my own as well. Um, you know, just in places where maybe I thought that the lines were looking a little bit sloppy. I thought, you know what, a good way to cover that up, just put a boil over it. Next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of a highlight to these. So I'm going to take a little bit of Ungor Flesh and just right in the center of these yellow dots, I'm just going to put in a brighter bright a yellow dot. Cool. And the last thing we want to do is just pop these even more, make them look like they've got that kind of glossy pussiness to them as well. I'm just taking a little bit of my Pallid Witch that I already had mixed up, and just a little dot. And the chunky, the chunky pastels. Never thought I'd use those words in the same sentence. Alright, and with that we are done with these Nurgle tentacles. So I hope you like this, I hope you like, uh, you like the way these turned out and if you're working on your own Nurgle, I hope you give this a try. Nurgle are always covered in tentacles so you'll always find, you'll always find a miniature to test this technique on. Um, but yeah, it's quite a few steps but I think that the result is worth it, we get this great blend all the way up to the tip of these tentacles and you can imagine if you've got a green armor or something like that then that purple and pink is going to complement it perfectly because they are obviously complementing colors on the color wheel so i hope you like it and if you like my content feel free to like and subscribe um, and of course leave any comments or critiques or any feedback in the comments um, i'm always looking to obviously improve my content and hear what you guys think of uh hear what i'm doing thanks for thanks for tuning in Happy painting team, and I'll see you next time. Bye.